This is such a good question, and I'm so thankful that you asked. Uh, I think I have the problem written out correctly for you. And I want to point out right from the start, I think your problem probably was this. You see, this 8 minus x is the opposite of x minus 8. It's easier to see with something like this. If I did 7 minus 3, you can see that if I flipped them, 3 minus 7, I'd get the opposite. So 7 minus 3 is the opposite of 3 minus 7 because 4 is the opposite of negative 4. So in the same way, 8 minus x and x minus 8 are opposite. So I'm going to guess, I'm so thankful that in your question you gave me a specific direction to go for you because you, because you said you didn't understand why the answer was negative. But when we flip this 8 minus x and this x minus 8 to enable us to make a 1, the x minus 8 over x minus 8, I know you might be in the habit of saying cancel. It's better to think of it, though, as reducing or making a 1. But when we make a 1 or reduce that x minus 8 over x minus 8, we are, in fact, still left with a negative. Just to make sure there's not something else going on for you with this problem, let me just finish the problem out. Notice that when I factored these, I don't have to wait to flip it before reducing that because that x minus 4, x minus 4 just reduces to a 1 automatically. So when I flip this x minus 9 over x minus 8 and change it to multiplying, it becomes x minus 9 under x minus 8, and then I can reduce those. So we're left with this opposite of x plus 6 over x minus 9. And I think that's probably the answer you're looking for. Well, I hope that this short video helped you and thanks again for asking such a good question.